Hello my friends, welcome back. Thanks for stopping by my channel again. I just finished uploading my first video of some Christmas projects that I've been working on and I've been wanting to showcase some of the projects from my friend Ida who has created to create here on YouTube for some of the dyes that she has produced. She has been making a few dyes lately and is um, starting to get them uh, on the website to sell. So I purchased a few from her and I wanted to showcase the different ways that you can use these dyes and what you can do with them. So um, again, it is uh, created to create and it is Ida and she has designed these dies that I'm going to show you. So you can go to the shop which is www.createsupplies.shop where you can purchase the dies that she's been creating. You can also go to YouTube um, which is created to create or here is her email address where you can email her as well. So that is the information for my friend Ida. I will also put it in the description box below and along with the names of the dies that I used. So if you haven't seen my first video, if feel free to go back and look at that. And uh, I think it's called Beautiful Christmas. And I wanted to show you some different ways that I've used or different colors and themes and ideas I had for using Ida's dies. So to start with, what I want to do is I'm going to move these back just a moment and um, I'm going to start with the um, dies here. So the dies that are Ida's is this all occasion Merry Christmas that I'm going to show you that I used and then her for year you all occasion die so um, here is what they look like so here is the Merry Christmas that comes with the uh, main layering piece and then it has two more layering pieces and then it has the Merry Christmas um, so that's the Merry Christmas I used just the Merry Christmas on this bow. So you can use it in a different way. You don't have to use it as a tag, but you can use it as a sentiment. You can use it uh, an ideal idea like this. So the way that this would work is that it would go on your gift box. I'm going to just pull this gift box here and you can put it on your gift box. You can uh, decorate it. You can put the tag on there and you can have a beautiful, elegant way to present a gift under the tree. So I like that on this bow I was able to put the Merry Christmas. This is a Carnation Crafts little Santa hat that I love. This bow die is from Tattered Lace, uh, Stephanie Whiteman, and it is called Mega Bow. I don't believe it's available anymore but I'll show you that as well. And then this is the die that I used from Ida's Elegant All Occasion dies. So this is the For You and it has all the layering pieces here which I used all of the layering pieces. So I did white, gold, white, and then I did sentiment in gold. Isn't that just beautiful? You can put bows, you can make bows, you can put bows on them you can just do so many different things, put a big old ribbon, hang it on your gift, uh, so many different ways you can use that. So the way that I'm showcasing it is kind of something like this, where you could put it on a gift bag, you can put it on a present, you can put it on an envelope. And if you just wanted the tag alone to attach to something, you can add your own touch. So this is Creative Expressions um, die bow dies that I have. They don't make these anymore but I have the large and the small and then I used as the centerpiece the little Carnation Craft Santa hat. So look how elegant that looks with Ida's all occasion tag. Isn't that just beautiful? So I mean so many things that you can do. You can be creative. So that's one way in the gold that I've used that. So here is the mega bow die that I used. 
So I used it with this grow work and then I used these and I layered with the tails. Okay, so that's what that one looks like. Um, then what I've done is I've made some gift bags. Um, this one actually is with Ida's. So this is Ida's, one of Ida's elegant bow dies here. And I used that one, which is this one here. So this is actually a corner pocket die and then the layering pieces here. You can, you can do it in such different colors. You can use it different ways. Um, I showed it on my previous video in uh, cobalt blue foil with white, which looked very striking. What I did here is I put it on a gift bag. So what I did is I purchased some digitals from Etsy. Um, and then I used her bow die here. And then this Merry Christmas, I believe, is a Carnation Crafts die and then Anna Griffin corners here. So, I mean, that's just a simple way that you can make um, a gift bag and very elegant. So it's a different color, different color theme. So I wanted to show you just the versatility of her dies and how well they go. With the layering pieces, you can just make it coordinate so beautifully. This one is, uh, I had to just make it because it had Santa and I loved this Santa. This one's showcasing um, actually Scrap Diva Designs tag dies, which this is my favorite die, tag die that I used. I love it. And there's the to and from. This is a die I got off the internet years ago. I don't know who made it, where it's from, but I love it. And I don't have to stamp it. I can cut it and put it in the coordinating colors. And then this is just a off-brand little bow die. And then the Merry Christmas is a diamond. I can't remember the name of it offhand. Um, but they had some really pretty font uh, Christmas dies. Uh, sentiments so that's what that one is and that's just a plain bag that you can buy at Michael's or anywhere and you can just create something really pretty so what you can do with these is you can put um, gift cards inside of them you can put gifts inside of them and then you can also use Ida's money holder um, it's called new money it's a money holder die uh, set that she made for me at, per, at my request because I needed one because I make gift sets and I just couldn't find one that I loved and hers is with the tear strip so this is this is what it looks like here um, and it's got the tear strip on it and it's got the layering piece here and then I also used her Merry Christmas on that but that's what her new money um, die looks like. Let me pull it out here. Sorry, I have it here. Her die. So this is what it looks like. So um, again, there's her information. Create supplies shop. This is where you can buy it. Designed by Ida. Okay, and you can scan the QR code there. And here's the die. So it has the main money holder with the tear strip, and then it has two layering pieces, and then it has the For You, which has also three layering pieces so that you can put different colors to match whatever um, project that you're working on. My favorite, I ordered two of these because I use them so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Miss Ida. So that is just something you can make with, um, with her dies as well. So you can make some gift bags and just make things look really pretty when you're doing them. So the next things I want to show you that I used her um, dies on is um, boxes. So this is a gable box. You buy this box at Hobby Lobby, 99 cents. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a big gable box. All I did was use um, this die. It's from Carnation Crafts. And um, it, they are the teardrop uh, dies. Beautiful, beautiful dies. This is a beautiful digital that um, I found on Etsy. And I am going to link this um, store because she has some beautiful digitals. And they just, look how beautiful they print. So she did a custom order for me as well. 
uh, with some flowers and background paper and whatnot. So I am going to link her. You will not regret going. And I think she's having a sale right now. So that's a digital. This is part of another um, digital from her store. Then I put the same beautiful train on the back and then the decorated the side. So here is where I used Ida's Merry Christmas die, um, which is this one. Okay, all occasion from the all occasion tags. So I went ahead and cut the, that one the gold. I used her uh, paper, the digital paper from uh, Dina, and then I just cut the Merry Christmas in the deep red and then the gold. And then this right here is uh, a Dollar Tree bow. So they have these really pretty bows at Dollar Tree, or they did. I purchased a lot um, last year and the year before, and I keep them in a box, and then I use them because it just, I mean, they're just so pretty. And then I made the little poinsettia um, from one of my dies. And so, yeah, so you can, you can, you know, use Ida's beautiful tags to go ahead and make a gift and then I'd put the two in the from on the back here and that is a another way that you can present a beautiful gift so if you're giving this to your boss to a co-worker to your mother to your daughter to your partner um, I mean you can fill it with food goodies you can you know gifts whatever and you could take it to your party you can present it um, and these are nice to put under the tree you could put a gift card in there you can use Ida's money holder uh, you can use um, Scrap DB Designs gift card holder and you can match it all and put it in there with a coffee mug or coffee or anything and that just makes a beautiful gift to put under the tree or to take to a party using Ida's beautiful all occasion tags. So that is another type of a gift uh, idea and how to use those. And then here is um, just a plain box that you buy at uh, Dollar Tree um, yard sale, wherever you get all your boxes at, you know, during the summer, whatnot, Walmart, Hobby Lobby. And I did, again, these beautiful digitals here. I just put some um, ribbon from, um, I don't know, Hobby Lobby, I guess. I don't know, Dollar Tree, where I got it. I just have bins full of, of my uh, ribbon. And then I printed out the beautiful, look at that, scroll work, just, oh, isn't that just divine? Just stunning. This, of course, is Anna Griffin bow dye. And then, of course, here we go. Here is Ida's all occasion Merry Christmas. So what I did is I, uh, she did a custom, Dina did a custom order for me here. And um, I just cut it out in her digital paper. I used the gold and I used the white to accent it. And then these are some mega uh, dies I have from Spellbinders. But look look at that. Who, who would not love to see that under your tree, um, at your party, on your boss's desk? <laughs> Score points with your boss, right? So that is another way to use um, the dies that Ida made just adding some of the other elements that you have, some of the other digital, some of the other dyes you have, some of the bling. Um, just, that's just beautiful. You can make a matching card. You can make, um, you know, if you had a couple of gifts that you were giving to one person. So look at, look at that. Isn't that just something, just how pretty that would look? You know, those two, if you were giving a gift that had needed two boxes. So there, there you go. Just the way my creative mind works. So um, I'll pull these forward here. Uh, my other box, my last box here, it's featuring in her other Ida's other die. It's the For You All Occasion tag die, which is here. And I also showed that in my previous video. So it has the layering pieces as well. So I used three of the layering pieces. I did not use the big one because I wanted to put it on a tag. So I have this tag in my stash. So I just went ahead and added it onto that tag, put it in the coordinating colors. This is another digital download I got off of Etsy. These are Anna Griffin border dies. And then here we go. There is Ida's Merry Christmas all occasion tag die. And then I added the little carnation crafts Santa hat on there and the Dollar Tree 
ribbon on there. And then in the coordinating color, to and from, I cut out from the die and put it on the back. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Under the tree. So my last one in this color type thing of golds is um, Ida's gift bag dies and her new money holder die. So this is more of a masculine theme that I was trying to accomplish with the black and the golds. And um, this is an Anna Griffin uh, die. Here's Ida's Merry Christmas that I used. And then I used the two, um, I used the black, the gold, and then the Merry Christmas. So I used the three Anna Griffin corner dies here. This is my um, my uh, bow dies that I have um, from, let's see what I did with it. Sorry about that. I'm trying to find it here really quick under all my stuff I just put up here. That is from, well, I lost it. Um, I'll, I'll link them below. They don't make this anymore, um, but it's in my previous video. You'll see it. And then here is the new money holder. I, I love that tear strip. This is 110 pound cardstock. I just put some stickers here and then it's got the tear strip in the back. So you add um, onto her gift bag. This is the gift bag die. Again, coordinating ribbon, put some little bells here and then the to and from. Isn't that just beautiful? You put your gold paper, your black paper in there. You can put um, your gift in there. You can put your money in there, your gift card, whatever you're going to give. And then you put that under the tree. You give it to your coworker, your boss, partner, friend. So there we go. Those are um, my gold type, different styles of the projects that I have been designing um, and working on using my favorite dies using Ida's new dies. Uh, I just, uh, the digitals, uh, the train digitals, I just am so in love with those. They are so stunning. I have been wanting to create with the trains so much because, uh, you know, Christmas, they just, you know, it's just like, you know, bringing in that Christmas spirit, bringing in all of the things about Christmas that you hold dear. So that is kind of what, you know, I do and I like to do and like to think, and that's how my creative mind works. So um, I'm trying to look really quickly here to give you the name from Dina Stop. It's uh, Digital Clip Art HQ. That's where you're going to find all these beautiful digitals. And I'm going to link her shop because she has some amazingly beautiful trains that are just exquisite and then a lot of our other digitals I purchased several from her and they are just stunning again it's digital clip art HQ and I'm going to link her Dina's store below so um, thank you for stopping by this is my video uh, second video I have a couple more videos showcasing some different themes and different types of uh, money holders and gift bags, etc. So uh, please come back. Thanks. Talk to you in a bit. Bye-bye.